Filmmaker John Borowski. John Borowski. Director John Borowski. John Borowski. Filmmaker John Borowski. John Borowski. Filmmaker John Borowski. John Borowski. John Borowski. John Borowski. This Borowski, he, he must be some kind of, a, he must be crazy or some kind of pervert. He, he studies killers. Torture chambers, secret passageways, vats of acid and deadly vaults. Few human beings are ever remembered for leading unparalleled lives of perversion and evil. In my lifetime, I have murdered 21 human beings. H.H. H. Holmes was America's first serial killer. Sadomasochist, child murderer, and cannibal. He was Albert Fish. I hate the whole damn human race including myself. I am Carl Panzram. I encouraged him. It took a couple of weeks until he finally started writing. He smuggles in uh, paper and pencil because prisoners are not allowed to have these, these objects, but Lessa provides them with the, the, the writing materials. true statement of some of my actions, including the times and places and my reasons for so doing these things. Written by me, of my own free will, at the District Jail, Washington, D.C., November 4th, 1928. If after reading what I write, your faith in human nature isn't all destroyed, then it never will be. We had an arrangement. By the time I was on the midnight shift, 12th to 8, so we arranged that when he gets through writing 10, 15, 20 pages, he should leave it on the bar of his cell. And I started reading this, you know, and it wasn't more than a week or 10 days, but I felt I had something worthwhile. The innocence of America shone through in the early decades of the 20th century as parents let their children play unattended and unguarded on the streets of New York. There was no such concept as stranger danger in the poor communities as they felt kidnappers would not target the children of those who could not pay a ransom. Yet children continued to disappear. He felt driven to torment and kill children. Sometimes he would gag them, tie them up, and beat them, although he preferred not to gag them, circumstances permitting, for he liked to hear their cries. The basement held the most terrifying rooms resembling a medieval torture dungeon. Acid vats, quick lime pits, and a crematorium disguised as a glass-bending furnace were Holmes' favorite methods of immediate body disposal. There was something that Holmes claimed was an e, what he called an elasticity determinator, which was supposedly a device to create, as he put it, a, a race of giants by strapping people onto this thing and then stretching them out. But it was clearly some kind of torture device. Thank you. 
After cleaning and mounting their bones, Holmes would profit from his victims by selling their skeletons to local medical schools and universities.